Do, 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 do. Hey, how's it going? It's Nancy Gammon. Thanks for visiting me at my new house. My good friend Matt encouraged me to think of the house as a great big three-dimensional canvas. So while my new basement studio is undergoing some refurbishing, I'm practicing the art of home decorating, starting with this back entryway. The space is a little bit dark with a lot of doorways, but I'm gonna do my best to give you a little tour here. So there's a bathroom door, bifold doors for the laundry area, a door that goes to the kitchen, door for my office, more bifold doors that have um, a little pantry area behind them, and then kind of a pretty good sized blank wall and then the door that we just came in. I have a lot of projects I'd like to do to brighten up this space, but the first order of business is just to give it some fresh paint. It currently has kind of this beige-ish acru uh, treatment on the walls. I'm going to go with a repose gray on the walls and put a charcoal colored paint on the trim. I'm going to prepare the walls for painting by removing any stray nails and filling holes and dings with a little bit of spackle. Each spackle is a little bit different. Some of them change colors as they dry. Just take a look at the label for directions. This particular one takes about 30 minutes to dry. Once the spackle is dry, I'll put on my dust mask and sand the area in a gentle circular motion. Then I'm going to wipe down the entire wall with a damp rag to get rid of any loose dust, cobwebs, grimy fingerprints, anything that might be on the wall and prevent the paint from adhering properly. Next, I'll use a little plastic wood to fill any holes in the trim. Check the container for directions. This one dries in just 15 minutes. When the wood filler is dry, I put on my dust mask and sand it smooth. Then I use a damp rag to wipe down all of the trim so that it's ready to accept the paint. I used to paint the walls first until a professional painter taught me to start with the trim. I also learned that it was worth the money to buy a good quality angled brush and high quality paint. The results are so much nicer and the experience of painting is more enjoyable. I'm going to let that second coat of trim dry for about four hours and while it's resting, I'll do a little preliminary work on the walls. So I'll start by removing the outlet covers and the switch plates, and then covering the inner workings with a little bit of painter's tape to protect those against splashes. Then using the wall color, I'll paint a border around the openings. Next, I'm going to paint the edges of all of the walls. So I'll start by painting across where the wall meets the ceiling and then going down the corners where the two walls meet. Then once the trim is completely dry, I'll paint close to it, uh, going down the edge where the doors are and then also painting across the woodwork near the floor. Once that edge paint has dried for about four hours, I'll go ahead and put a second coat on. After that edge paint is completely dry, it's time to get down to business and start rolling the walls. I'll let that dry for about four hours and then add the second and final coat of paint. When the paint is completely dry, I'll replace the switch plates and the outlet covers and touch up any little oopses, and then it's time to celebrate. All right, the little hallway is looking fresh and clean with its new makeover. 
the repose gray walls and the iron ore trim. And I feel like things look pretty sharp. I'm happy with how the makeover is going so far. And so this completes the first step in my hallway redo. You've noticed I painted around some slips of paper that were stuck on the wall here. I'm actually going to turn this into a big collaborative art project. I'm planning to create a welcome wall here, a visual guest book that will grow and change as people come to visit. I'll tell you all about it in another video. In the meantime, a big thanks to my patrons who helped to make this video possible. I'd love for you to join the community. Head over to patreon.com slash nancygammon and choose your rewards. I'll see you next time. Do 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 do